Good morning ladies. I've made this little video to show you how to import fabric manufacturers fabric into your favorite fabrics. What we want to do first is go to the internet. I know the website address. It is northcot.com It takes you to the website and what you're going to select is products. We want current collections because we're interested in one that is there. If you scroll down the page, the one that I want is Artisan Spirit Serendipity. By selecting it, it brings up all of the fabrics available for that particular line. If you notice up here, right here, it shows download fabrics for EQ. If you select download fabrics for EQ, it asks you what you want to do. You want to save this file so you make sure it is clicked and click OK. It asks you where you want to save it to. Well, for this instruction purposes, we're going to choose desktop because you'll know where to find it. So if you just click save, the, the desktop is highlighted. Click save. It saves it to your desktop. If you click over here, it will tell you whether it is finished and it looks like it is. So click the little arrow down. Now we can click down on the internet. We will find over here the zipped file of the serendipity fabrics. If you right click, it will open up a uh, window and it asks you what you want to do. Hopefully you will have WinRAR file extractor, if not use the extractor that you have, and we want to extract this file here. So I'm going to click on extract here. It's created a folder called Serendipity 75. If you click on it, it will open up and it will show you all of the fabrics that we have downloaded from that particular line. We can now close this down. We can start our electric quilt 8. An electric quilt is open. Choose libraries. Choose fabric library. We don't want the current library, but we want to import results. What we want to do is click on import. It's going to ask us whether we want it from a project or an image file. We are choosing image file because we want to get this into my favorites fabrics library. So chick, click image file. It's asking us what we want to do. These are ones that I've done before. But where we want to go is to the desktop, click on it. You'll see over here everything that's on my desktop in files. We want to scroll down and find Serendipity 75. So we click on that folder and here is all of our fabric. If you select the first one, you scroll down and holding down the shift key and select the last one, it selects all your files. The next thing you want to do is click open. It has now imported all of those into the electric quilt um, program. They'll remain there until we're ready to put them in our place. But now we want to go to 
my favorite libraries. Oh, tried to do it too soon. They're not all imported yet. It's still, the little wheel is still turning. When it completes, then they're all there. Okay, now they're all there. These are some of the ones that I've already imported. But what we want to do is create a folder or create a library. So click on Create Library. We're going to name this library North Cot Serendipity. Oh, if I could remember how to spell. It's going to ask how many we how many styles we want. Well, for the sake, you could do as many styles you want and put all of the Norcroft in there. And what you would do is a little different procedure to put all your serendipity or all of your Norcroft in one spot. But for the sake of this lesson, we're just going to choose one and say OK. It reduces the, my custom libraries and if you scroll down, scroll down you will notice North Crop Serendipity. If you click on this you will see Style 1. Highlight the Style 1, use your right mouse and click Modify. Here we're going to put serendipity, or I'm sorry, all fabrics. Select OK, and it has now named that style to all fabrics. What we want to do next is go back to our import results, which is all of our files, and I'll scroll across so that you can see that they're all there. What we want to do is select all fabrics, and you'll notice a little blue box around all of them. What we want to do next is click on copy, which it has copied them all, um, and ready to put into the Norcot library. Go back to the Norcot, or go back to my favorite, favorite, favorite fabrics. You'll see the Norcott Serendipity. You'll see all fabrics. And you'll see down here, make sure that all fabrics is highlighted. If you click Paste, it will then bring in all of the fabrics that we imported. They're there. What you want to do next is click Save Library. And it will give you a notification that all of your fabrics have been saved into that library and you just click OK. What you want to do next so that you don't import a bunch of fabrics into the wrong directory is go back to Import Result, select all fabrics and click Delete. So And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to um, delete these selected items? Say yes. This, What this does is it clears out your import results for when you're importing for to a specific location. To make sure that your fabrics are there and you can just check, go back to My Fabrics. If this were closed, you'd choose Norcot. You would see all fabrics. You would see all of your fabrics that you have chosen. What you want to do if you want to use one of these fabrics on your um, in or in a project, you select the fabric. You will notice that it has a blue line highlighted around it. Then you would go up here and you would add it to your sketchbook. You can close this down and to verify that, go to your sketchbook, go to fabrics. If we scroll across here, There's our Norcott fabric right there. It's highlighted in blue. That's how easy it is to import, to save your library, 
and then get it to a project that you're working on. This concludes the video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and if you'd leave feedback on the Electric Quilt Facebook page, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.